it's me. Stick it on and send him out. No one's there waiting for him. Oh, and he locks up his front wheels. Michael Schumacher gets all the luck, doesn't he? This time, oh no, they're, they're, they are trying to no, no. It's on fire. It's difficult, they can't, it's exactly the same problem. It's on fire, Ted, the car's on fire. We haven't seen this for years since the big fire of the Benetton of Jos Verstappen and Michael Schumacher. What's he going to do? Send it, send it out, there's no problem. It's only a bit on the surface, that's fine. I mean, the exhausts are running red hot underneath that engine cover. Oh. And of course, as we know, they top exit the exhaust now, but they're, they're still probably best part of a metre away. Michael's sitting there remarkably calmly. I think I might have been tempted to jump out of that, but uh, he didn't. And watch this then. This is tyres that are not ready to go on. There was a blanket on the right front. So unusually, we see a mistake from Red Bull in a pit stop. I'll tell you, Martin, that's obviously a late call. Sorry to come over you, but I can see that there was an, an option out there. Mark Webber straight in as well into the Red Bull box. So more confusing as the tyres are coming out. They're carrying the tyres to the car. So he's losing a huge amount of time. And I wonder if they've got the right tyres on Vettel's car then. Were they expecting Mark Webber into the pit stop and not Vettel? So a dreadful half minute for the Red Bull team. Anthony Davidson is up to third for Super Aguri. In, uh, he's kept his car very much on the track. Anthony Davidson in the Super Aguri. Nobody's there. No one's there waiting for him. Obviously a bit of a surprise pit stop there. Whether he's got a problem, we don't know. Running uh, P3, the team weren't expecting him. And uh, whether he just misheard a radio call or what, clearly that is not a scheduled stop. Oh dear, oh dear into the pits he comes oh and fuel that's the first time we've had a fuel splash oh my goodness me well now just let's keep calm there are a lot of fire officials down there and the fire is already out when the nozzle came out of that that was supposed to seal it the fuel splashed and see how three two three seconds later that tremendous inferno there for Stappen in the middle of it must have been absolutely terrified possibly even 12 seconds with the fuel going in took a while to get the nozzle on though slightly delayed start to the refueling process, the tyre men are already. Only takes three seconds to put the tyres on. And they've got a problem with the fuel hose. Williams have got a problem with the fuel hose. They've had to go for Ralph Schumacher's fuel hose. This is a disaster for Juan Pablo Montoya. Time evaporating. He's going to need eight, nine, ten seconds with the fuel. And Ralph Schumacher leads the German Grand Prix. And Michael Schumacher may well get Montoya as well. A catastrophe for the Colombian. He's out of the pit lane now, and here comes the Ferrari. What a disaster for Montoya. Absolutely. It normally takes about 26 seconds to make a pit stop here. That's how much time you have to take out of your race. He's lost 41 seconds. A disaster, but now he's got to fight back, and that is going to be worth watching. Charles Leclerc has gone right and gone out. And I think Lewis Hamilton's gone off as well, but he's carried on. And he's lost his front wing, hasn't he? There's damage to the front wing, certainly. They weren't expecting him, what? they didn't know it's happened. They had no idea that it's happened. Well, they weren't ready for him because he's only come in because of that accident. And I think now they're going to look to get maybe intermediate tyres on as well. They're he... scrambling around all the while Lewis Hamilton's losing out. So Lewis, look how skatey that is, and just a little clout of the barrier, but he... He had some momentum when he hit the barrier. They've got to make sure they get the right tyres on it, that they're not Bottas's tyres, for example. Correct. We've got a mixture of tyres on that car at the moment. And now we've got Inters back on it now. That's and what they're doing. They're changing their, change their mind on the tyres. And of course, when you've got to change the nose, you can't use the front jack because the front jack jacks up on the nose itself. Oh, we've got the fuel hose on. Kovalainen's car. Oh, oh. there was a fire in the pit lane as well. Kovalainen's car, he was trying to leave too quickly there, get ahead of Raikkonen. Fuel spraying all over and all over Kimi Raikkonen as well, into his face, into the car. And this is Mansell coming into the pits now. The leader coming into the pits, coming storming in very quickly. He's really rushing into the pits. Past the McLaren mechanics. Oh, and he locks up his front wheels. He almost runs down the Ferrari mechanics. That's gone all wrong. The mechanics will have to pull him back. But in fact, no, Mansell is reversing back to his pit, and that's not allowed. The uh, Ferrari mechanics go into action, they're changing his tyres, but I think he's going to be in trouble for engaging reverse gear and actually driving backwards in the pit lane. 
Daniel Ricciardo, the race leader, Lewis Hamilton, making his way into the swimming pool. Chicane now, they haven't got the tyres oh, ready. On, the tyres aren't ready. Ricciardo is sat there waiting. Did he make the call? Did the team make the call? Whoever made the call, the tyres weren't ready. Super soft tyres going on. Hamilton now makes his way around Anthony Nose, the final corner. Here comes the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton. Ricardo on the inside. Hamilton takes the lead. But Ricardo, of course, has that inside line into Sandoval. Hamilton now leads after a pit stop that saw Daniel Ricardo sat stranded waiting for his tyres. And that looks like another set of slicks to me, James. It's absolutely extraordinary. When Salo came in a moment ago, they have both slicks and drives ready for us. Right rear. They're not ready on the left rear. There's no tyre. Right rear, I beg your pardon, there's no tyre here. I've never oh. seen anything like it. There's, there's no time to put on. Oh, I thought we had one when the race started, he's saying. Well, this is ludicrous. This is now going to have a committee meeting about it. Stick it on and send him out. A major mal misorganization problem there. Trulli pits from third. Toyota have had a strong start to the season and a quick stop could get Yano out ahead of his teammate. But there's a problem with the fuel ring. The rig got stuck, some fuel escaped and ignited on contact with the car. Fortunately, no one was hurt. We've got one Ferrari in the pit then, and he's Michael Schumacher is having to wait to see uh, Barrichello serviced first. Michael Schumacher is parked up, line astern behind the Ferrari of Barrichello. Now they're fitting the Bridgestone monsoon tyres, I should think. What on earth is going on down at Ferrari, James? They still haven't got any tyres on Barrichello's car. This looks like we had uh, uh, back in Nürburgring a year or so back, where they just do not appear to have any tyres ready. Out of the pits after one minute minute and 12 seconds goes Rubens Barrichello. One of my cliches is anything can happen in Formula One and it usually does but I wouldn't have expected this. This is George Russell coming in behind the safety car for his first stop and there's lots very very long. Yeah the crew having to adjust lots of tyres hanging around there. The, the call was obviously made late it's a 2.2 mile circuit Oh, some horrible confusion going on there, isn't there? And then I think now they've realised that there is a problem and they might have sent Valtteri back out on the same tyres. Someone's come out from the garage and say, no, can't put those tyres on. You've just got You're to right. send them out with, with, with what he had on before. You're right, they put the same ones back on. Because that, that, that was the lesser of two evils, otherwise yeah. he's going out with a mixed up tyre set as well. Yeah. I think the guy on the left front can probably see that they've got George Russell, GR on them rather than VB or something. All the while, those brakes getting very, very hot indeed. So This is so un-Mercedes-like, isn't it? Bruni makes his pit stop, but fuel escapes when the hose is removed, and this is the result. The immediate response of the mechanics ensures the flames are put out in seconds. Bruni gets out, he's safe, but he has inhaled some of the fumes and is struggling for breath. The team have had a lucky escape. What's happening down at Alfa Romeo? Have they brought the wrong tyres out? Have they got an incomplete set? Rather looks like it. Antonio Giovinazzi is waiting to be serviced uh, with a fresh set of tyres. I suspect they might be Raikkonen tyres. Yeah, because yeah. just there must be a set of Raikkonen tyres that were going on it. Karun, you can see all this. Yeah, I can. I mean, this is kind of like that Nürburgring race. Remember with Eddie Irvine, the mechanic is running round and round. He's finally on his way. But uh, I think you're right, guys. I think they, they were probably expecting the other car. Or the next oh, oh, puncher. Ah, oh, the front left. And then it's, it's, they can't just change one because it has to match the, um, the compound and the rest of the set. And in less than eight seconds, he's away. But the right rear flies off, scattering other mechanics and the three-wheeled Williams stops in the pit lane. Now in the pit lane, another wheel is manhandled on. All sorts of regulations are being broken. The car is lifted bodily, inevitably the black flag for Mansell. A problem with the right rear wheel nut released Rosberg's tyre into the crowded pit lane. And there was mayhem at Renault and Force India. 
Sutil was in the wrong place at the wrong time. The wheel was heading down the pit lane on the right and a mistake proved costly. Kubica was given a 10 second stop go penalty following his unsafe release and the team received a fine. They're all pouring in now, but I'm just trying to work out what that smoke's all about. A lot of frantic pit action going on, and it's the Jordan car that looks like it's caught a light there. A lot of fire extinguishers around the car, presumably Erdi Irvine there. Purely like the car went far. It's not a happy home race for Super Aguri. The team swiftly replaced the nose cone, but fuel leaks out and catches fire. But it doesn't seem to hinder Sato. Valtteri Bottas now pits uh, for Mercedes, so they brought Hamilton in, and a lap later, in comes Valtteri Bottas, and it's oh, the hard side right too, but they, front's not even off yet, they can't get the right front off. The wheel gun has jammed, and this is not the first time this season. Valtteri Bottas has had an epically slow pit stop through no fault of his own, and they just can't get that wheel off. Someone needs to get a big hammer and try and give it a shunt with that because at the moment that tyre is not budging and this is Valtteri Bottas's race being ruined before your very eyes. That is it. Over for Valtteri Bottas because of a wheel nut that just would not budge.